for exchange international. Hey there, Randolph. We're keeping you pretty busy today. You just got back from picking up a D-152. Yes, which happens to be a beautiful instrument. Oh, really? Yes, yeah, beautiful. Okay, the pictures maybe didn't do it justice. I think by the time Odell does his magic on the cabinet, it'll really look nice, huh? It's going to be a beautiful instrument. Folks, the Hammond D-152 is really, from my point of view, getting very rare, hard to come by. It's for people who want the self-contained Hammond, like an A-100, but with 32 pedals. Special. Yeah, and, and it probably, well, undoubtedly, when it was made, was the most expensive instrument that the factory was making at that time. Think about it. The RT3 was more expensive than a B3 or a C3. Exactly. The D152 has the self-contained speakers and reverb uh, all built in. So you can see why it's an expensive instrument, and it's going to be a little bit... Uh, more challenging for us to rebuild it because it's got a lot more parts to it. But it's essentially like, uh, let's say you started with a C3 and then you added some bass pedals. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then put some speakers in it. Yeah, exactly. It would be like, a, what would it be, like a, an A105 with 32 bass pedals. Oh, okay, yeah. That would, that would be or the... RT3 married to a 100 <laughs> There you go. There's a lot of breeding going on in theory. <laughs> but they were very creative, I think. God bless those good people at the factory. Uh, they were using the same heart, the same tone generator as a B3 to make several different models. So, so, so Randolph, uh, we're making this video, and you need to get home to your wife here soon, you know, and, and you're soon to be born baby girl. Baby girl, yes. So we wanted you to just help us out with this little video after you picked up the D-152. Thank you for that. Yes, sir, no problem. And um, so the, the really kind of like the main point of this, aside from the fact that we're letting the world know, hey, there's a D-152 on our van, soon to be unloaded. This instrument, we already have a deposit on this instrument with two matching Leslie's. Now these uh, speakers have been custom finished uh, much like uh, you would do to the bed of a brand new pickup truck to keep it nice forever. Yes. You know it's like you know it's really hard to scratch it or have any imperfections and then it's going to go with this 1972 vintage Hammond B3 in an ebony finish and we're going to be putting Ah, they're already there. The stickers on there that says they are certified foam free. When we first started talking about that, people would say, What that is mean? that? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> yeah. Well, Randolph, this video is going to the church. Well, it's going to everyone who wants to watch it on our YouTube channel, but it's also going to the church and the pastor who has put the deposit on this instrument. So if you would be so kind as to let the pastor hear a little bit of that reverb that's on the organ. It's also got the custom output that allows you to plug into the PA system if you want even more bass than, than the two 122 speakers can provide. Uh, just give them a, a taste of uh, your uh, Randolph Carter style. For, for good church settings. Let them hear uh, a wide variety of tonality. Now I will say that we only currently have one speaker hooked up. We need to know how far away the second speaker will be positioned and how much cable will be required because Randolph, as you know, if you put that second speaker more than 80 feet away, then you want to use a power relay. So there's no need to put a second outlet on the organ. We'll just use a power relay to provide the second outlet. But if they're going to be close, you know, they only need 30 feet, we'll probably put a, a second outlet right on the organ. Makes sense. The guideline here is once you get over 100 feet, you need to start thinking seriously about using the power relay so that you don't draw too much current through the start switch. That's the kind of like the bottom line. That's one of the bottom lines. The other bottom lines is if you put too much cable on one 
Leslie, the voltage will start to drop over the distance of that cable. And uh, you don't ever want to have more than 100 feet of cable total without the use of a power relay. Because when voltage drops, it's not have a, having a lot of issues. Bad things happen. Those tubes and other components in these organs, they like to get all the voltage they require. <laughs> So without further ado, Mr. Randolph Carter demonstrating Ebony B3, keyboard exchange reference number 463. Pastor, after you hear this video, give us a call and we'll wrap up the final details. But we're going to be playing this organ every day for a week or so. Make sure it's perfect. That's why it's in the showroom now, even though we know it's sold. We want to do all the final testing on it every day until it's time to load up for delivery. And to the rest of you out there, thanks for watching our channel and as Sister KP would say, please subscribe and ring the YouTube bell for registering and get our videos every Friday afternoon. Hey, maybe Sister KB will even say it herself a little later on. Hey, what do you say there, Randolph? Hey, make it happen. <laughs> Take it away, Randolph. <laughs> speaking with you from the showroom at Keyboard Exchange International. We'd like to thank all of you who have helped us grow our business for the past 51 years 
and it is our intent to find good homes for all the instruments we have gathered uh, from all over the United States. Thank you to the families that have preserved the instruments and then sold them to us knowing that we would find good homes for them. If you, on the other hand, are in need of an instrument, please give us a call. Uh, there's been a lot of effort to gather these instruments together and we would like to make you part of the Keyboard Exchange International family. Let's all work together to keep these fine instruments going long into the future so that we now and future generations can continue to enjoy the wonderful sound of the Hammond Tone Wheel organ. God bless. Signing off.